That is looking fantastic. Oh. Hi guys, I am Chetna Makan and welcome back to my kitchen. This time I am making a little twist on an English classic, a mango raspberry coconut trifle. I absolutely love the whole layers of cake and custard and jelly and to finish the lovely fresh cream. So I love uh, all the layers and we are going to use ready custard powder. You can make custard at home. I do often make custard at home, but for the trifle, there's something about the ready custard, which is kind of makes it more um, trifle-like for me. Um, and we're gonna make a quick jelly, but um, for the cake, we are going to make a fresh uh, Madeira cake, which is super simple. And you can use shop pot as well, but because it's so simple, I'm gonna just quickly whip it up first. So this is one of the really easy cakes. Um, and I've just got some unsalted softened butter in here. I'm gonna add um, some golden caster sugar. You can use plain caster sugar if you like. Um, and really it's all in one method. Um, so I'm just going to very gently mix this. Also pulls in the eggs. Then some self-raising flour, which already has got baking powder. So we don't add any extra in this and some ground almonds. That's going to make it really nice and moist. And then some vanilla, good quality vanilla extract. And I'm just going to use a whisk and whisk this for two minutes. And in the two minutes, the, the color of the batter changes. It's so much fluffier and lighter. And here I've got a loaf tin, uh, 900 pound loaf tin. Just going to put this straight in. I've got the oven on at 180C. And I'm going to bake this for 55 minutes to an hour. And I'll check with the skewer. And this is done. It took an hour, 10 minutes. And so I have got some frozen raspberries and some frozen mango and some caster sugar goes in and then just some water. And I'm just going to bring it to a boil. And while the fruit syrup is cooking, I'm going to soak some gelatin leaves in some cold water. So I have got here eight leaves and they just sit in cold water for a few minutes and they soften up. So it will be ready by the time our syrup is ready. It's now um, boiling very well. So I'm just going to cook it for two to three minutes and then take it off the heat and take it straight to a blender and I'm going to blitz it until it's pureed. <gasps> Maybe it's not my day. Maybe it's not my day. I'm going to take five and I'm going to give this a clean, but the, the syrup that I've blitzed, I'm going to sieve it and um, get rid of all the seeds and just get a smooth syrup at the end of it. Now I'm just from this syrup, I'm just going to take out 100 ml, um, which we need for our cake. So I'm just going to take out, actually, I'm not going to take any more chances today. <laughs> just going to take out 100 ml actually 150 let's make it 150 150 leave this aside and in this leftover syrup i have got here the soaked um, gelatin leaves and now they are soft so i'm just going to take them out get rid of the excess put them straight in here with the heat of the syrup, the gelatin will dissolve. And once it's all dissolved, this will go in the fridge 
not to set completely but to cool down and just begin to set really and that is going to give me plenty of time <laughs> to clean this mess up and also to prepare our custard now for the custard i'm going to get a pan some custard powder you can just follow the instructions uh, in the that i mentioned um because on the custard powder box just some caster sugar and then very slowly going to add this milk just keep stirring so there are no lumps and i'm just going to cook this on gentle heat till basically we have a nice thick custard so that is looking like perfect consistency for us i'm just going to transfer this into this bowl and I need to avoid making a, you know, uh, forming a skin on top of this um, custard. So while it chills, I'm just covering it with some baking paper. And I am going to let this cool down for a few minutes um, in the fridge. So here I've got a bowl of fresh raspberries and also a couple of fresh mangoes. I'm just going to chop these into small cubes as well. And now it's time to assemble. The cake has cooled down. It smells so lovely. Quite important, a trifle bowl. Any glass bowl really. Um, slightly deep because you need to have lots of layers. Let's check out this um, cake. See, that's, that's perfect Madeira cake. Lovely, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just um, cutting it up into rough pieces and these pieces go at the bottom. And here is our leftover syrup, the raspberry mango syrup. We we'll soak this cake in that syrup. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. The next is a layer of fruits. So the fresh fruits, which will go in here. And I'm not putting all the raspberries. I'm just going to keep some for the top. The next layer is custard. So the custard hasn't cooled down completely because um, it's still warm. I did let it sit for 10 minutes. Um, but I'm going to pour it into this bowl and then let it set in the bowl. Let it cool down rest of it in the bowl. So very gently, I'm now going to let it cool down in the fridge. The custard will set and form a thin skin. Um, and when we pour the jelly, that'll make sense. So I'm going to leave this in the fridge for 10 minutes. Not very long, not cooled down completely, but just 10 minutes. So you can see that um, there is a little barrier. There's a thin skin of custard here. So when we pour the jelly in, it should hopefully not seep through. If it does, it doesn't matter. Very, very gently. And once I've poured all of this on, it's going to go back in the fridge to set fully. That I think is plenty jelly. I just want a little tip on the top um, to put our double cream on. It's looking so pretty. Now this will just go back in the fridge to set fully, which might take a few hours. Ooh. So for the last layer, I've got some double cream in here. And I'm also going to add some coconut cream in here. And I've already added some caster sugar in here. Just gonna add one more tablespoon. Sugar and whisk. And that is looking perfectly whipped. And I'm gonna get the trifle out of the fridge. So I've just got a piping bag. And of course, I can just put it directly 
on the jelly i just want to pipe it and i'm just going to make a big cut at the end of the bag you can put a fancy nozzle if you like or like i said just put the cream directly now the side of the jelly is set but the middle is still wobbly so i'm going to put the cream on and i'm going to put it back in the fridge for a little bit so now you can just leave it as it is um but i've just got some lovely lovely strawberries and i'm just going to plonk them just not in an order and just if you have any mango left then put them in the middle or wherever you like to be honest and i have got some uh, kind of little uh, pieces of uh, uh, toasted roasted um, coconut I would say that the best thing would be to make this overnight and let it set in the fridge. Uh, I have been a bit impatient today, um, and the tricky bit is going to be trying to get to the bottom of the trifle and get that cake layer out as well. So I am going in. The layers of cream, jelly, custard, fruit, and cake, and I managed to get all of them out. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, that cake soaked in the syrup. It's so lovely, and the chunky mango. and you can taste the coconut in the cream. Mm. That's your mango raspberry and coconut truffle. Hope you will try this and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.